Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gandhi coming back at you again, but um, this time I'm not going to be playing uh, Ground War or TDM or anything. I'm actually playing Free for All. I'm playing on Afghan with the Tar 21 Silenced, and the perks I am using are Marathon, Stopping Power, and Ninja Flow. And the equipment is flashbangs and claymores. So um. I don't know why I'm doing this accent right now, but I like it. So I shall probably I shall speak it. No, that didn't work. I might kind of go back and forth between accents and my regular voice for the ma for the match, but I'm good with that. I hope you are good with it too, you fellow YouTubers. But okay, enough of being off topic. Uh, a couple topics I'm going to comment you today with are some standards that I have with playing Call of Duty and what kind of what I'd like to have done in a video before I f that needs to set the standard before it gets uploaded to YouTube through my channel. And oh, I also talk about um, a couple of my gaming setup equipment that I have. So I'll just do the equipment real quick because it'll be that quickly and that simple. And then it's zap! I don't know if you can hear that. The mic's kind of sensitive. So my, bo so, my beautiful setup is of course the Xbox. HDTV, component cables, and the Hop Hog, which is one of the best capture cards uh, I believe there is. I love it. It it, it served me well, no problems with it, and I think anyone who wants to record gameplay in HD should definitely go get one. So, and uh, I also have Tritons, and they are Triton AX180s, and I will tell you, they are great for Call of Duty. You put Ninja Pro on your perks, then you can't hear your own footsteps, you can hear everyone else who doesn't have Ninja Pro. I'll tell you, it's very useful. When walking through the weeds of Call of Duty, or walking in, a, in the one of the rooms that has wood uh, plates, and you can hear the footsteps very clearly. So, very good. It's very good hit, hit for any hardcore Call of Duty player, and I keep my controller on tactical buttons because it's very nice to have the analog stick as um my thing to crouch. And as you can see, I just got the Marathon Pro, which is very nice. So, I'll. Uh, now I shall tell you what I believe if my standards are for posting a Call of Duty video to YouTube and letting the world see my skills and I hope people enjoy my skills besides me because I enjoy my skills. Although I will admit I'm not the best player, I pro I'm an, maybe an above average, but I'm not the best player. I know tons of people out there who are much better than me, but I... I believe I speak to all the gamers who are average, just or a little above average, just like me, and to show them what average gamers can do, and what they enjoy. Uh, well, I believe the standards for Call of Duty, um, when in TDM or free for all, I believe that the um, the score uh, um, has to be at least positive. It doesn't have to be like 13-1 or 13-4. I believe it must be positive, as my game in this one is 13-8, and I believe that was a pretty good sto score, and I believe in Free For All I probably will not post a video unless it, um, unless I got under uh, 10 deaths or under, because if I got over 10 deaths then that'd be kind of annoying to watch me die that many times, but if I was playing something like Ground War, for example, or um, Headquarters, well, your t KD spread does not matter for your team, because in Free For All on TDM, your KD score matters very much because y the more you die, the more someone else has a better chance of winning. But the more you, the less you die, the better chance you have of winning with the more kills you have. But with objective gameplays, it doesn't matter how many times you die, it matters how many times you've scored in domination or how many flags you've scored or ran back. That's what matters. So I believe that, in my opinion, with my videos that I shall be posting, I shall, in TDM and Free For All, have, um, uh, only died 10 times or less because oh and my l third standard is that the gameplay has to be fun for me because I believe that the, the, with the Call of Duty community we are in now with the campers and the noobtubers and the one man army perks and all that it's just kind of stressful for, uh, for me to get, get good gameplays because um it, it's all happen it happens it happens oh man my horse was going all over the place it happens to me that where like I can have an incredible starting of a game and I'll probably go like 11 and all but in the last half of the game I die like 20 times it's it's just incredibly incredible inc incredibly stressful so I believe that um, unless the gameplay was fun for me then I probably shouldn't play it man my voice is going all weird but um 
So I believe that uh, like definitely helps be fun. Otherwise, what's the point of putting it up? I mean, you know, I'm not post like I'm obviously posting this for people all around the world to see my videos, but I'm posting this because I believe it is fun. I enjoy recording gameplay and commentating over it and doing weird stuff like this, and then just talking about Call of Duty and all that. So I believe that it has to be fun. I mean, and so uh, I will post good gameplays. In, uh, I may not get killer gameplays like 13 ones or 47 and threes very often, but when I do get those on my occasions and I have them recorded, I shall post them. So uh, those are my standards for posting videos. I hope you agree with me on many standards. Final score was 13 eight with no assists. Very good. I got Harriers twice, I believe.